I can now read an iPad without having it magnified, which is amazing. It seems like a simple thing, but it means much more for Jonathan Wyatt. After decades of sliding toward blindness, his vision has recently improved. So has Toby Stroh's. As a result of the trial, there is very real and tangible hope. The two men have a rare inherited retinal condition that causes progressive blindness. They took part in a preliminary study at Oxford University using gene therapy to treat it. Gene therapy involves inserting copies of a normal gene into a patient with faulty or missing ones. The disease tested in this trial is caused by a problem with one single gene. The choroideremia gene is important for making a protein known as REP1. And when that protein is deficient in the retina, the cells gradually die. The concept of gene therapy is to put that protein back into those cells by using the virus to carry the missing gene. The men had the surgery two years ago and say it's allowed them to read better and stay active. But researchers caution it's unclear if the results will last. And the study was small. Four other patients didn't report such dramatic improvement. Doctors hope the approach could one day be used to treat more common causes of blindness, like macular degeneration, which is caused by problems in several genes. For now, Stroh and Wyatt say the initial trial changed their lives. Living under the shadow of the inevitable creep to blindness is not fun. Details of a bigger trial will be announced next year. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.